Hello, my name is Hannes Murray. I'm the founder of UMI. UMI is an educational startup and we focus on presentations uh, in the classroom and beyond. And I would like to show you a little bit how we've reimagined uh, how you can use presentations in ways that you've probably never even thought of how presentations can be used. Uh, I've prepared eight interesting things that you can do with UMI and uh, we're going to be talking about them uh, one after each other and in during this you will see a little bit more about how UMI works. The first thing to know about UMI is that our presentations are called clips and that they are interactive. Let's take a look at one. If you go to the UMI homepage you will find a lot of clips that people have created on a huge variety of topics. Um, we have a channel selector so you can for example say hey I'm interested in biology um, and just scroll down and you see uh, different clips people have created uh, different parts of the body for example let's take a look at this one on joints um, this is a, a looks like a video you can play it um, All right, today I'd like to talk about joints uh, joints are any so the presenter is talking about stuff um, I can forward through the, the clip uh, by looking at different slides so you get the idea here uh, these are slides and uh, presenters are talking about it what's interesting about um, the clips are that I can use my mouse and interact with the content inside the, the clip so it's not a traditional video it's more like animation where you can hijack whatever you see and look at things. Uh, this is also the same way uh, you, you use to create these clips. The other interesting thing in addition to the, to the interactivity is that the presenter has a pointer that's very intuitive to use. Uh, let me show you uh, with the example of the ear here. For sound to move down. Uh, so sound moves down the ear canal and then it vibrates the tympatic membrane or eardrum and the eardrum uh, in turn moves these little bones in the uh, middle ear. Uh, those bones are the... It's really simple when you create these clips to use the pointer uh, and after a while it becomes uh, extremely intuitive and fast to point anything out in a video clip. The interactivity and the pointer opens up a lot of possibilities for showing interesting things to people. Uh, UMI, for example, works very well with very large uh, slides. Uh, for example, here I have um, a starship size diagram, which is actually a very large uh, poster, and I can zoom in uh, and look at anything. When you're recording a clip, you also get the pointer and you can point at anything on this very large diagram. This is, for example, very useful when you're talking about things like very big uh, web pages. Okay, let's move on to the second interesting thing about UMI, and that is that UMI clips are created extremely quickly. Let me show you how to do it. Once you've signed up for UMI, uh, you have access to projects that you're working on. So let's look at my projects. I have lots and lots of uh, projects working on different clips with different people. I'm just going to create a new one to show you how easy it is. Uh, so I'm just going to call it test. Um, and since a lot of people might be intimidated the first time creating a clip, we even allow you to choose uh, what you want to talk about. Um, Let's say I'm interested in dogs, uh, just for a test. Um, of course, if you don't want to talk about it, you can just upload your own files, but I'm going to use this sample to start talking about. Um, once I have it inside UMI, um, I can, of course, interact with my content. I can move it around with my mouse. I can also click on it. Uh, I can zoom in and out. And to start recording, I simply hit the Start Recording button. I'm actually recording right now, so I can uh, point to a particular dog, uh, let's say this golden retriever, and talk something about it. 
and for example then talk about the Jack Russell Terrier. Once I'm done speaking I simply hit stop record and I've created a video clip I'm just gonna save it immediately uh, and now it's available here and I can play it back. Start recording button I'm actually recording right now so I can uh, point to a particular dog uh, let's say this golden retriever and talk something about it and for example then talk about the Jack Russell Terrier. Let me quickly show you how you can uh, work with slides in UMI uh, by uploading some pictures. Uh, I'm originally from Cape Town so I'm just gonna pick a few uh, photos that I took while on vacation there. Um, now this becomes part of UMI. Um, I can click on the slides and of course if I want to uh, talk about it I can simply um, hit the record button say hey uh, have you ever been to Cape Town this is Table Mountain um, as you can see it's called Table Mountain because it's so flat uh, here's another view of the mountain and uh, if you're into surfing it's also a great place to surf when I'm done recording simply hit stop record save the clip and now I have another clip um, about my vacation Say, hey, uh, have you ever been to Cape Town? This is Table Mountain. Um, you can see it's called Table Mountain because it's so flat. Uh, here's another. You can actually uh, upload a lot of different media into UMI, not only photos, but also things like PDF documents, uh, PowerPoint presentations, um, Excel worksheets, and so on. Uh, we keep on adding support for different formats so if we don't support something you use yet please contact us okay so it's easy to create an UMI clip um, and uh, I want to show you actually uh, how easy it is to talk about anything else uh, that's out there on the internet a good way for students to learn is to create their own presentations and so the teacher might tell the student uh, please create a presentation on frog biology um, very interesting topic uh, so uh, of course the first thing that you would do as a clever student is to go find some nice images about frogs and we made it really simple to get those images into UMI um, this little Chrome extension which allows me to capture what I see in my web browser. You can capture the whole page or just the visible portion of the page or a subset of the area. Uh, let's uh, just grab this, uh, this nice slide over here. So I simply select what I want. So I want to cap capture this area. Now I say where I would like to put it. So I've created a test topic before. So I'm just gonna put it in there and uh, put it in there so UMI sucks in this new image into my project uh, from before and now as before I can just simply hit the record button and uh, talk about different things um, I hope you guys know what all these things are because I don't again save clip and I have another clip I can play it back simply hit the record button and uh, talk about so it's really easy to grab anything you find on the internet, bring it into UMI and talk about it in a few minutes. Continuing on the topic of how to get stuff into UMI to talk about, I would like to show you a very interesting way uh, how you can borrow or reuse stuff from any other clip that anyone has created on UMI. If you've been paying attention to a news in technology and physics uh, recently, you might have heard of the uh, discovery of gravitational waves. Um, and UMI, of course, we have a clip on that topic. Um, and uh, let's say uh, I'm interested in this topic. Of course, I can play this clip and learn about it. Uh, once I've decided that this is something interesting that I would like to learn more about it myself the best way is to practice this 
And to do that, I can take the images that are inside this clip uh, and reuse them in my own presentation. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say I would like to remix this particular clip. Now what Umi is doing, it's uh, bringing it into uh, an existing project either here, the test project we created, or uh, into a new project. So let's just uh, create a new one. So here I immediately have uh, the images uh, from that clip, from somebody else's clip. And again, I can simply hit the record button and start talking about it. So, so this is of course a really great way to um, to reuse stuff uh, without you having to go find all of this stuff on the internet. Okay, so we are halfway through the interesting things you can do with UMI and now I would like to show you the many ways you can share your clips with others. So here we have a clip about uh, making mistakes um, which is highly encouraged uh, on UMI. Nobody can actually make a perfect presentation with it um, by design so that uh, you learn in a much more authentic way and people don't get afraid of making presentations. Once you've uh, recorded your clip, um, the first thing you do is should give it a title, fill in a description, uh, give it some tags and so on. Uh, there's a button here, Update, which allows you to fill all these things into fields. Um, and then uh, you have uh, many decisions to make how you want to share this clip. Um, of course, uh, sharing it on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and so on is possible. Um, you can also uh, click on this little button here to embed this clip in a web page. Um, there's also an option to publish it to the UMI gallery so that everyone else that comes to the UMI front page can see your clip. Or you can just simply uh, send a link to the clip directly to somebody else. So this is the link here. Um, all clips created in UMI have a link. And uh, so if you know it, uh, you can access that clip and view it. Uh, and of course, do things like remix it and so on. This uh, allows for lots of interesting uses for UMI. Since it's so quick to create a clip with UMI, uh, you don't feel like you're wasting your time to speak to one person. For example, if you're a teacher, uh, you can take, for example, an uh, assignment from the student, uh, load it into UMI, speak for a few minutes. In that few minutes, you can actually say quite a lot of things and uh, hit stop record and send the clip link to the student directly uh, to get feedback. Um, normally, when you produce video with other systems, you assume that there's going to be a massive audience and that's why you spend a lot of time making your clips, your video look good. With UMI it's uh, completely the opposite. Since it's so easy and quick to create clips, you can create them for very small audiences, individual students, um, uh, your class or a school, um, or of course the whole world if you decide it's good enough. We're nearing the end of all the interesting things you can do with UMI. And this one, uh, number six, is probably the most interesting of all. Um, you can use UMI to work together on a project. So far I've just been alone in projects, but I can also invite other people. For example, here we have a project, uh, it's about different career choices you might want to make, involving uh, many people. Uh, below each, each project you will see uh, who is on that project with you. Uh, so let's open that up. You can see there's actually a whole bunch of people here that's uh, working together. Um, anyone can of course upload uh, content in here. In this case we have a lot of uh, interesting in infographics about uh, different careers. Um, and I can upload it here. Uh, I can create my own clips here. Somebody else can also uh, point at anything in this uh, project and also talk about it. Um, in this way uh, a whole conversation starts happening. So you have to imagine for example uh, a teacher and a student or a small group of students working together uh, leaving video clips for each other all in the context of uh, one project. And that happens you tend to have like very long timelines here. 
Um, here you can see all the people that have been invited to this topic. It's easy to invite others by just typing in their name or email. Or if you're inviting a whole group, you can simply uh, send a link to them uh, and Yumi users will be automatically added to this uh, project. Okay, by now you should have realized that UMI is more than just a presentation tool. And I would like to speak just a few minutes about that. UMI was designed to, to teach people how to present. And in this process of uh, learning how to present things, uh, they learn. Uh, as you know, uh, this is absolutely the best way uh, to remember anything. Instead of just, for example, watching a presentation, you tend to remember much more by actually creating a presentation. And UMI allows you to make that really easy. Uh, not only for teachers talking about uh, uh, teaching other, uh, teaching their students uh, stuff, but also for uh, students and learners uh, to learn about things by simply creating presentations. And we try and make it as fun as possible. Okay, if you've been listening this long to me talking, you'll be happy to hear that I've actually already told you everything you need to know about UMI, and I just want to leave you with one question. How do you think you will use UMI? Uh, our product is still relatively new, and we would really like to hear from uh, the educational community. Uh, what do you think technology like this uh, uh, will help, you, how it will help you in the classroom, and what do you think you can do with it? So please uh, contact us. We would love to hear what you think.